Our next guest uh, is uniquely positioned to discuss a lot of things. The recently enacted CHIPS Act, uh, the one-year-old infrastructure investment, uh, and Jobs Act. Um, Brian Sullivan is over in the Netherlands. I wonder if they're still, like, you know, beating their chest from Saturday. But they probably are. But um, about LNG, Brendan. Brendan Bechtel is chairman and CEO of that company. He's also a chair of the Business Roundtable uh, Infrastructure Committee. And I mentioned, what, 125 years Next year. Uh, oh, that's, so half the, that's how long Bechtel has yeah. been around, always been a, a private company. I immediately ask you, uh, you just won this big order to make chips in a great state mm -hmm. in, in Ohio, in, um, integrated circuits, those types right. of chips. You need to know, the, the, the chip maker can't tell you what to do. You need to, to know everything that needs to go into to that chip making plant, but you also need to do the LNG, you also need to do nuclear. So I just can't imagine the, the, the type of intellectual property that Bechtel has with its engineer. Well, as you said, Joe, earlier this morning, thank God for engineers. Yeah. Uh, we're, lucky to be, um, we're lucky to be in that industry. And particularly, you know, I would say on behalf of BRT's infrastructure committee and our industry, we really applaud Congress and the administration's passage of these two really important bipartisan bills. Uh, the CHIPS Act, of course, which directly helped provide the opportunity we were just awarded in Ohio to build what for Intel will be the largest semiconductor fab they have anywhere in the world. Um, $20 billion first phase, gonna create five to 7,000 high quality, high paying construction jobs at peak construction. That's just the first phase, we hope. Um, and then of course the IIJA, which is, um, they've moved $185 billion out the door already. Uh, 6,900 projects launched as a result of this, 2,800 bridge projects underway. Uh, we can talk some more about any of that. And then, of course, too, um, the clean energy provisions of the IRA provide opportunities for um, lots of BRT companies, including companies like that. So why would, when you're bidding with, with Intel, do you show them expertise? Do you show them, uh, do you do it as cheaply? Do you try to beat other people on, on how much it's well, going to cost? Well, there's always, obviously, there's always competition. And, yeah. And that's important to our customers. But there is, there's, we're seeing, and our customers are seeing so much risk in supply chains right now. Um, That's whether it's issue we can... ling lingering impacts of COVID, um, I would say uncertainty, high energy prices as a result of the war in Ukraine. And so what our customers are increasingly doing and what we're doing with our supply chain partners, it's becoming a little bit less about competition and more about building strategic relationships that have resilience to get through you know, a tightening supply chain So just environment. in Ohio, how many of the chip-making manufacturers are you subcontracting with or dealing with? Well, um, so as a general rule of thumb, we will try to perform as much of the work ourselves as we me. responsibly like, can. You don't need a LAM research or an AMAT or... No, no, uh, obviously specialty engineering right. companies are always important as are specialty subcontractors. And a key part of whether it's CHIPS or IJA or the clean energy part is to push as much money to local communities as you can. And so there, there is an emphasis on hiring local companies where they have capability. We, we've just been hearing Macron and others in mm -hmm. Europe complaining about um, not just the CHIPS acts, but the inflation acts. Mm -hmm. If there are adjustments that have to be made because European competitors are complaining that we are subsidizing, what happens? Um, well, I think we adapt. So I, I but I, I, I think it's interesting. It tells you that Congress, the administration, did something right if it's provoking this kind of competitive policy-making response from Europe and other right. parts of the world. I have a, a Taiwan Semiconductor question, mm. which is, you know, they're going to be making chips here. Do you think there are American firms that actually have the know-how besides Intel to actually do this? And longer term, does it create any kind of risk that Taiwan Semiconductor owns it if you believe that the reason we are trying to do this here is that one day we fear that China could overtake Taiwan and therefore that company? Well, that's a real multivariate question. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. I think that um, uh, without sharing private information, I think that there are a lot of companies that are trying to figure out what the implications of onshoring and friendshoring of key critical strategic supply chains means for them here in the United States. And that's all I can say on that right now.